If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. We got VeChain and Cardano videos every day. Up on the screen, I got my uh, Twitter page here. So if you guys uh, want to follow me on Twitter, I answer DMs. Uh, follow me, Boomin Satoshi, Twitter.com. Also, I am on the discord page so follow me on discord as well guys um i'm answering questions i'm in here um i want to interact with you guys see I, I i'm in here so uh, i would love to talk to you guys on discord and on twitter so hit me up got my hot tea and honey lot and loaded ready to go let's get this show started taking a look at the v chain price crypto is booming today which is good bitcoin Finally got above 50,000. And hopefully this is the last time we have to talk about Bitcoin being below 50,000 ever again. <laughs> hopefully, you know, the super cycle can can actually take off now. Typically, September's have been pretty bad in terms of Bitcoin price action, but it seems as though we are turning a new leaf, hopefully. I mean, Bitcoin only needs to get up go up fifteen thousand more dollars for it to get to its all-time high and that can happen literally in two days uh don't get it twisted crypto moves fast it, it it literally can melt faces guys so looking at the price here when in doubt zoom out looks like v chain is trying to get back to where it was we hit a bottom at five cents a few months ago about six months ago and uh <clears throat> not six months ago about i'm gonna say three four months ago and now we are it looks like we're trying to move up back to that 15 cent mark if we bust through that 15 cent support level i think we'll be good to go again it all depends on bitcoin though so hopefully bitcoin can get its head out of its rear end get back up to sixty-five thousand, which could literally happen at any moment and we'll be right back where we started so highly bullish on uh v chain Gonna continue to stack VeChain and chill. Nothing's changed, and we're moving on, guys. All right, so this is some pretty good news here. So last week we talked about VHashes, a new uh, NFT platform. Well, not a new NFT platform, but a new NFT project on VeChain. Looks kind of creepy, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie, but. October the 16th, the pre-sale for V hashes will be released. Um, this is awesome. So the pre-sale event will happen on Saturday, October 6th at 8 p.m. GMT on www.vhashes.club right here. So uh, this is the world of V uh, marketplace here. I would assume that V hashes that they will update this. Um, Let's take a look. Let's see if they've updated anything. Have they added V pets yet? No. No. They still got to do some updating, obviously, here, but uh, it looks like the pre sale is going to be soon. The general sale will begin after the pre sale ends. Uh, the price for each V hash will be 2800 VET. During the pre sale event, 12,992 World of V NFTs will qualify you to mint uh, 10,000 V hashes on a first cup, first serve basis. In order to mint your V hashes, we will integrate a claiming mechanism to guarantee different allocations and special discounts based on the category of the cards owned. So, as we can see here, um, one V hash, you get an OG card, 1800 VET. Here's the breakdown of what you can receive. So 
So uh, each World of V NFT is eligible to claim only one V hash. Once a World of V NFT is used for claiming, it can't be used to mint another V hash. So, um, yeah. So let you know. So again, it's on October 16th at 8 p.m. GMT. I will try to remind you guys as the tide draws near. Also, if you guys join the uh, Discord here, which I highly recommend you do, scroll down here to World of V, and uh, they have like a little link here. You can join the regular um, Discord here. So here's how the Discord looks for World of V. Get the general, claim your special cards, all kinds of stuff, guys. So hit me up, guys. Again, you know, you can add me as a friend. I had I had to create a new account. So um, I look forward to talking to you guys on the Discord. So moving on. <clears throat> We've got Eisenreich here, breaking news, real items coming through again. Real items and VChain looks like we're partnering with Sponger Originals. Sponger creates NFTs for athletes, teams, and collectibles. Now on the Real Items Marketplace, a 1997 OPC Ray Gretzky rookie card. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, they're selling it for $10,000. Um, I'm not really a big hockey guy, but <clears throat> if you like hockey, apparently this Wayne Gretzky guy is good or whatever. I used to play, uh, what was it, NHL 1999 or whatever back in the day when I was hella young. And, you know, I'd always pick Wayne Gretzky and uh, I didn't know what I was doing because I never was good at hockey, but... I know that he was like a 99 or whatever, so he must have been good. Comment down below if you guys uh, watch hockey and tell me about the great Wayne Gretzky if you feel like it. Um, this physical, oh no, sorry, go away. I gotta remember to close my <laughs> Discord when I'm doing the uh, the the videos here, but. This physical item with the non-fungible token NFT for proof of ownership added to content. This, yeah. Um, this NFT was minted on April 18th, 2021. It is our very first NFT and could be the first physical Gretzky rookie card to have an NFT. So, here it is again. Um... Apparently he was really good, so, and they have like a little history of all of his stats and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool, guys. If you're interested in this, go to realitems.shop, and if you got an extra 10 grand, first of all, you need to be hitting up my Patreon, link in the description below, donate to my Patreon, $25 a month, and then come on over here <laughs> and grab away Gresky rookie card for $10,000, because if you could afford to spend $10,000 on a Wade Gretzky rookie card, you could afford to hit up the Patreon, and leave a like, and leave a subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so I'm gonna need you to do all that for me, and then come on over here and buy this card. All right, moving on. <clears throat> and finally, guys, we've got another retweet here from the VeChain Foundation, China continues to build robust blockchain infrastructure in June. VeChain received a AAA Enterprise Credit Evaluation for the CAPC, an entity under the Ministry of Civil Affairs, is simplifying top-tier compliance and competitiveness standards. So here's the reward. The AAA Credit Evaluation is good because they means that they are in good standing. They're making a profit. Uh, they're actually uh, innovating, and they're a good company. Now... My opinions are starting to change about China and VeChain. I think that VeChain needs to distance themselves from the Communist Party of China, in my humble opinion. Um, you know, there's just a lot of, uh, there's a lot more things that they could be doing. There's a lot more things that, there's a lot more opportunities that they can gain by distancing themselves from China. China's just on one. Um, and I know that 
you know, China didn't block V Chain or didn't ban V Chain or anything like that. But I just, you know, the regime is is horrible. They're terrible, man. They don't want to see their they don't want to see their citizens have any sort of freedom. And I think this is doing damage to V Chain, to be honest, um, in more ways than one. Not being added to Coinbase, I think the Chinese connection has something to do with that. I'm not spreading fud, guys, but Tron's not on Coinbase. Uh, uh, Nervous Networks not on Coinbase. I don't think all these Chinese co these quote unquote Chinese coins are not on Coinbase. Why? <laughs> well, I mean, there was a reason. Um, I think China is hindering more than helping uh, VeChain, in my humble opinion. Again, I'm not spreading FUD or nothing like that, but if China is going to be hostile to crypto, then, you know, why, why, play in the, why play in the water with sharks? I mean, if Sunny Lu doesn't bend the knee to, to China, what are they going to do? They're going to make VeChain illegal in China? They're going to shut down all everything? Like, they're, they're very erratic and totalitarian so their whim can change on a dime just depending on how the president feels on that day so you know we we get it that china likes v chain now okay but as we've seen from other companies you know sunny lu better be told the line all the time if he pisses somebody off in china you know that could be curtains for v chain uh v chain's dealings in china so i i it's not gonna happen but i think that if if it did that would be a good business move for v chain now we know that v chain is not based in china they're based in singapore but they do do a lot of business in china and uh china's gonna be hostile to the overall crypto community we we need not need to work with them um in my humble opinion again I'm banned. Uh, everything that China bans, I'm buying. Everything that China bans, I'm buying. They 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 ban Facebook. Facebook's dumping right now. I'm about to. I can't wait to pick up some some more Facebook shares. Uh, they ban Snapchat. They ban TikTok. They ban Google. <laughs> everything that China bans, I'm buying. So that's just my humble opinion, guys. I'm not spreading fud. I'm still all in on trade, but they need to do something about this China thing, cause China's hostile. China got got a stick up their ass about something, and apparently they're allergic to money. So it is what it is. Moving on. All right, guys. 902 days to the next Bitcoin block having. And things look good today. They look real good. Bitcoin finally above 50,000 again. Bitcoin moves fast, guys. Bitcoin moves real, real fast. Don't let anybody fool you. Literally, if a whale wanted to, we could be up at 65,000 within a week. If a whale really, really wanted to push the price, we could be there within a week. Crypto moves fast. Coins move fast. This could be the last half of the bull run. All right. Taking a look at any major pumps. Bitcoin's up 4%, but Shiba Inu up 50%. If you watch Cryptocurrency News Channel on YouTube, he did a video where a whale literally bought 6 trillion Shiba Inu. 6 trillion Shiba Inu. That is insane. All right, I don't know what that would be. One second. All right, guys, so I'm gonna butcher this number here. That's okay, I know you guys love me. So six thousand, 60,000, 600,000, 6 million, 60 million, 600 million, Six billion? <laughs> Sixty billion? Six hundred billion? Six trillion. I think that's six trillion. I, guys, I'm slow, so you're gonna have to forgive me. Um this is that is this right? Let me let me let me double check that. So that is six 
trillion dollars. The six trillion Shiba Inu. My man's paid ninety. Well, this was a couple days ago, so the price, the price has already gone up a hundred percent. So it must have been like sixty million dollars. Literally, my man spent like sixty, seventy million dollars on Shiba Inu, and then he bought another twenty-four billion Shiba Inu. So meme coins, maybe the second half of the bull run could cause some uh extreme moves um another thing i wanted to check was let's go to uh upbit don't know how to turn those notifications off i'm still learning discord guys it's i'm not as sharp when it comes to discord so the koreans are pumping things okay the Kore i repeat the Koreans are pumping things, but unfortunately, V chains all the way down here at 46. Um, that kind of sucks. But the Koreans, they seem to be pumping STP Network, Axie Infinity, Thunder Core, and OMG. All right, anything that's above Bitcoin on the Korean uh, exchanges, they are currently pumping. Now they're pumping the hell out of uh, STP network. I don't know what that is. Um, so <clears throat> we just need a whale to come on in and start buying massive amounts of crypto. Um, I think the market's gonna turn around guys, but hey, we don't know. Only thing we could do is stack and chill. All right guys, well, that's all I got for you today. I love you, don't let your memes be dreams, and I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Have a wonderful day.